Hey guys, welcome back to HFE and in today's video we're going to be going pheasant hunting. As you guys can see there's a field behind me. We got bear over here and uh, so my sources tell me that they stock today so hopefully that's true. So we're going to give it a shot out here. Um, only a couple cars at the moment. We got a couple guys but hopefully we get on some birds and uh, we'll see you out in the field. Over this way. This way. Find it. Hell yeah! Woo baby! Bear! Nice, beautiful hen. Good job, bear. Good job, let's go. Bear. Bear. Here. 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 Hey, what's going on? Get over here. Come here. Sorry about that. He started running towards the road. Oh. Come here. Come. Come here. Come here. Bear, come. Come here. Right here. Right here. Look at me. Right here. Come. No. Bear, come. Come here. I know. There's a lot of birds right here. Come here. Here. Good boy. Good boy. Watch out. Leave it. Leave it. Good boy. Alright guys, so we just got down the field and we did great as you guys saw. Got the two birds. Got a nice rooster. Got a nice hen. Bear's all tuckered out at the moment. But we had a good time out in the field. 
Uh, so as you guys saw, we got a lot of action. There was a lot of birds. I even missed a bird, unfortunately, but I was in the moment. I didn't realize one was gonna go up right there until I saw it on the road. But hey, it was a great day out in the field and I cannot wait to get back out there. Well, guys. All right, guys, so we just got back to the house here. I'm gonna show you guys how I like to clean or field dress my birds. So we have the two birds over here. All you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need a sharp knife and you're gonna need a couple little bags. And that's all the tools you'll need for dressing a bird. But here, we'll come over here. I'm gonna show you guys how I like to dress my pheasants. All right, so we're gonna grab this one right here. And this is how I like this clean it. So you're just gonna go down here. You're gonna make a small incision with the tip of your knife, like that. And you should be able to get right underneath the skin there. So you can see how the skin's breaking away. And all you do is I put my thumbs up in there and I just rip it away, just like that. So then you have all the breast meat fully exposed and you also have the legs down here as well. So first thing I do is you take it, you're gonna see <laughs> the center right here. Just run your knife down along that. So I start on one side first and work all the way down. And you can grab that. Just work away. No guts, no mess. Clean and simple. Okay. Get some of those feathers out of the way. There you go. That's one breast done. And then you just take that and you put it in your little Ziploc bag. Now you just do the other side. Take out some of those feathers. And once again, just start at the top. Cut alongside of it. Just like that. There you go. Got your second breast right there. Then now some people take the legs, some people don't. I take the legs. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. First, you're gonna break the legs backwards. Just like that until that exposes. And just take your sharp knife, go up and around, cut that off. Do the same for the other side. You got your feet right there. Then you go back in here. You bend this, the femur, until it pops open. You'll hear it pop. And then basically you just push it inward outwards. Just like this. And you can just take your knife. Cut that off. Just clean it up a little bit. And there, you got your drumstick and a thigh. And just do the same for the other one. Push it outward. And just fold it in on itself. And of course, once you're done with all this, take it to the sink, wash it out, make it look nice. There you go, you got your another one. And that's it. The whole bird, there's no meat 
really left on that bird and you didn't get guts everywhere put that to the side and you grab your next one and that guys is how I like to field dress slash clean my birds you guys could do it that way it's really simple really easy not really that big of a mess just a little bit of feathers but once you get the hang of it there won't be anything it'll be easy breezy all right guys thank you so much for tuning in for this little section and stay tuned for our cooking All right, so we were outside. We just got those birds dressed and everything. Now it's time to bring it inside the house here and show you how I like to cook my famous pheasant nuggets. So it only takes four simple ingredients for this recipe, which is pheasant breasts, Italian style breadcrumbs, four large white eggs, or, and peanut or canola oil for frying. All right, so we're gonna take it on over to the counter here and I'm gonna show you guys how I like to prepare it, fry it, and serve it. All right guys, so to start off, we're gonna get our chicken breast here and we wanna tenderize them a little bit. We wanna get them all to around the same thickness as you guys can see. So like it's a little bit thinner on this side and thicker on this side. So how I like to do this is you could get, you have a tenderizer mallet. I just use my fist right here and then you just wanna break it up a little bit. So you just pat it down lightly. Just wanna break it up. And as you guys can see just from a little bit, it's all the same thickness now. You just wanna do that to the rest of your breast meat. And once it's all nice and thin, we'll get to cutting. All right guys, so now all the pheasant breast is tenderized. So what you wanna do is you wanna take your pheasant breast down here and you wanna either cut them into, you know, like chicken tender style long ways or you can make them little cubes like chicken nuggets. I usually like to make them in the uh, chicken cubes. It's a little bit more consistent while cooking. But all you do, and I usually like to do about one to one and a half inch cubes. So I'm just gonna start here, slice down, like right there. That'd be just like a nugget. Then you just do that for the rest of them. All right, now that we got all of that meat cubed up nicely and the like nugget size, we have to start mixing the eggs. So you're gonna crack all four eggs into a bowl and you're gonna scramble them. Be sure not to get any eggshell in it like I just did. Now just grab a fork, break the yolks, and just mix them up. You want to keep mixing until it's a consistent color all through, but you don't want to over mix it. So you just keep mixing, just keep an eye out so like there's still some blodges there. Just want to mix that thoroughly. All right, just like that. So then what I'm gonna do is you're gonna get your the cubed meat and you're just gonna put it in there. Just gonna press it down, make sure everything's nicely covered. All right, so now it's sitting like that. We're gonna move that to the side. We're gonna get our Italian breadcrumbs now. What I do is I like to get a nice plate out, just a paper plate will do fine. And you just put that on there like that. That way when you transfer the chicken breast that's been, or the pheasant breast that's been sitting in the egg wash, you just put it in there, put it, and put it on our plate, and she's good to go. So we'll get right to that. All right, so now that we've been having this sit for a little bit, we're just gonna push down Grab one piece out, and you're just gonna put it in there. I like to keep it for because this could get really messy, this part of it, but you just wanna make sure that as you're doing this, shake off the excess, and then make sure it's evenly coated all the way through. Just once again, grab one, pat it down, flip it, and 
Oh, make sure all no remaining much. And there you go. You just do that the whole way through. All right, so I just finished some of them up. We're gonna start putting them in the deep fryer. So right now I have peanut oil in here, running it around 330 to 315 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, so what I learned growing up with this, just to make sure for you guys back home, make sure that you guys have the right oil temperature, only put two or three in just to test out, because if they start turning brown immediately, that means you have the oil way too hot. But we're just gonna put three in there for right now and we're gonna see how it's gonna do. So see, it's just a light sizzle there. That's what you're looking for. You don't want it to start rapid boiling or anything because that means it's gonna cook way too fast. So just a little bit of bubbles coming around the side there. That means it's going great. Usually I'll leave them in here for about two to three minutes, check the internal temperature, make sure it reaches that uh, safe level and then we'd be good to go. All right, guys, they're just starting to brown up nicely. We're gonna check the internal temperature real quick. We're gonna see what we're reading at. You wanna be at about 165 degrees. Stick that in there. Hundred and sixty-six degrees Fahrenheit. So I know that these are perfectly safe to eat. Then what we're gonna do is just we're just gonna put them on a little tray plate here with the napkin and set that off and oh boy do those look delicious all right we're gonna put the other ones in and we'll get back to it now the sauce I'm gonna be using for this is I make a barbecue and ranch mix it's two parts barbecue one part ranch I mix it into a little bowl like this and it's unbelievable this sauce goes great with these nuggets we're making There we have it, guys. All right, guys, so those pheasant nuggets were absolutely amazing, and I hope you guys try them out for yourselves. All right, guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video. We put a lot of effort in this one. It's our first ever kill clean cook video, so please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Well, guys, thank you so much for tuning in this week, and we'll see you guys our next adventure. This is HFE.